Hi guys, today a little bit of a controversial topic that's now doing the rounds in some of the forums. It's about the name Sifu. Now there is two different realities here. The original Chinese culture and how the name is used and now the new reality nowadays in the Western world where Sifu is more as a more given as a title uh, bestowed upon you by a higher authority, which in China is absolutely not the case. You know, uh, yeah, in mainland China, where right, you have Laoshe means teacher, and here in Hong Kong, they say uh, Lozi is a teacher, right? And then you have a teacher with a particular skill set, so somebody who's highly skilled in, in something. And often, out of politeness, somebody like that is called uh, Shifu in mainland China or Sifu in, in uh, Hong Kong. So, anybody, right, it can be the cook, can be a taxi driver, right? Some of my friends, Chinese friends, right, when we take a taxi, they call the taxi driver Sifu. So, in the beginning, when I came to Hong Kong, there was so strange to me, you know, because huh? the taxi driver is a Sifu, is he a Kung Fu instructor? But yeah, that's just, just how it is. But in the West, because of associations, very big associations, right, it became like a title. And that's why, you know, you have to have a certain number of students and you need to be a teacher over a certain period of time, over a certain period of time, and then you'll be sold upon the, the, the title of Sifu. But in China and Hong Kong, it's absolutely not like that. Yeah? So that's why you don't see any Chinese Sifus, yeah? especially from the older generation, calling themselves on their Facebook profile, uh, Sifu, blah, blah, blah. Because it's really somebody uh, else calling you Sifu, right? Or when you get introduced by somebody to other Sifus, for example, in Kung Fu, right? Then they say, for example, oh, this is Sir Joe Sifu. They place the name and then the Sifu behind the name, not in front, right? So they say, okay, oh, this is uh, Kwok Sifu from Hong Kun, blah, 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 blah. It's how they introduce you. But like I said, in the Western world, it became a title and that's just a different reality now and you cannot say it's, it's wrong. Like me, you know, my normal Facebook profile, I have Sergio Pascal Yadarola, my name. But then I have my uh, fan page, right? It says Sifu Sergio, I even have a logo for it. So according to traditional Chinese culture, that would not be correct, right? And could even be funny. But just, that's just the name under which I became famous and it became like a household name and that's how people uh, recognize me nowadays, right? So sometimes people talk about me in some forum and they say, yeah, Sergio Pascal Yadrola and then they don't know uh, who the guy is, is talking about and then the guy oh, Sifu Sergio, oh, that is Sifu Sergio. So that's the reason, okay, that I will also not change it now. But uh, yeah, that's the main point here. Now, in a Kung Fu family, it's maybe a little bit more intense, right? Because the character for Fu, like Sifu, Fu is like also the father. So it's like uh, a family bond. And then you can be like uh, the normal teacher or even still be called Sifu. But when you do the Bai Si, the tea ceremony, you really become, you come really into the family and then the real term of the word Sifu comes out and there becomes a very close uh, family bond. Yeah? It's something like by Italians, right? You have the, the padrino, right? The, the godfather and stuff, it's something like this. But if you come from certain other cultures, this is hard to understand. That's why many Western people, right? Oh, they just do the Baisi, they do the tea ceremony, and they will leave the Sifu anyway. And don't even hang their Sifu picture anymore on the wall of their school. 
and show absolutely no respect anymore. Now, when you really did the bice, you really did the tea ceremony, the bond should uh, be different. Yeah, and in some uh, older traditional Kung Fu families, right, the teacher uh, is just called Lao Si or Lao Xie in, in China. Then when you do the tea ceremony, uh, you can call him uh, Shifu or Sifu, right? So, yeah, that's just very short now uh, explanation that I thought is important. Now, having said that, you know, nowadays in the West, there are huge associations, like I said before, where the Sifu title is really uh, something new like a title bestowed upon you by a higher authority to start your own Kung Fu family. And it's something very important for certain people. Yeah? And they wait years to become officially a Sifu. And then, of course, they are so proud of it. And then they put it on their Facebook profile immediately and make a logo of it, right? Like I did before, also in the past. And that's just funny to some Chinese. But yeah, it is what it is. So don't be surprised when you're in Hong Kong and sometimes you hear around you uh, people being called Sifu and you feel, oh, that's a Kung Fu master. No, it's not. It's just somebody who is skilled in, hi in his particular job. Okay, guys? Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. The third road of the ancient Silentau today. From the Yongshun point, oh, but you have to perform it like a whip to get used to absorbing the force. When I pull him, it's different than the muscular force. Same sticking, the same sticking. Nullify the force. One, two, three. And I'm there. It can be very quick, you know. It is completely, completely relaxed. And then it's very heavy.